Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, IOB, and we back with another video. I heard somebody said they had the strongest build with Endeavors of Creation. Did I hear that right? Yo, yo, Revolver, bro. Stop capping to the people, bro. Stop capping to the people, cuz. Because we for sure got that shit, you heard? We for sure got it. All right, now, I'm gonna put y'all on. And Revolver, bro, don't copy the build, because you say you got that shit, bro. You say you got it. I don't want to see that shit on your page, bro. I don't. I don't want to see it, bro. I don't want to see it. All right? But let's get straight into it. As y'all can see here, first we're going to start off with these NPCs, bro. And then we're going to go kill the last boss in the game, Solo Dolo. And we're going to have full health and we're going to be strong, bro. Remember that. All right? We're going to walk out through the build and explain everything to the T. You know? This, this monster, bro. This monster that I've created. All legendaries. You feel me? From tip toe. We stand 10 toes. You feel me? All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm stop playing around. I'm stop playing around. I'm gonna go down there and really massacre these niggas real quick. And I, even our mounts legendary, bro. Stop playing. We moving. We we moving in a whole different level. So if you haven't subbed yet, bro, sub up. I also want to do add some people into my clan. So what the hell just happened? I also want to add some people into my clan, bro. So if you haven't, you know, if you haven't joined, uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, bro, subscribe now, so you can join the family. You feel me? Now nah, we're gonna have to we gonna have to fight you with the dagger. So we finna do. Bow. Hit him with that. Mm, mm. Oos. Mm, 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 mm. Criticals. Weave. Oh. The dagger's always better. Bow. Back up. Oh, it's because of that. Bow, 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 bow. We hit for like 800, bro, per dagger per dagger swipe. Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. All right. Now that we knocked that out the way. See, bro, I'm not using no heal or nothing. Just base damage. Killed everybody there. And none of that, none of that extra stuff. Yes, it is this strong because of my gear. But you feel me? It's supposed to be the strongest build within the game. Which hence what I have. I can literally go to the new area, which I know a lot of y'all don't know about. I got y'all in the next video. It's gonna be uploaded today. Bro, we're gonna be we're gonna be there, bro. We're gonna be there. You see this boss right here, bro? And I'm gonna let myself get damaged, bro. This boss is not a threat, bro. Literally not a threat. We're going to switch to crowd control. Great sword is why I have the legendary great sword. So is crowd control. And we can aggro all these NPCs too with this build. You see he's level 52. Level 52. As y'all see here, bro, no damage. No damage being dealt to me, you heard? Because I'm broken, bro. I ain't going to lie. Uh, on the new island, yeah, I ain't going to lie. The NPCs could kill me only because all of them are like level 50 something. If, I, if I'm not paying attention, I can't. The way I'm about to kill this boss, I can't do the NPCs like that. Oh, hit that. See that, bro? Collect all that. Basically, cleared out all the NPCs. While I'm, war, bro, while I'm losing life, while I'm losing life, I'm getting hit by lightning. I'm getting stunned and everything. I'm, I'm showing y'all too. If I'm, I can take a hit, bro. I can take a hit. I can get poisoned. That's not a problem. This build is broken. I'm going to run y'all through it too once I'm done beating him. Once I'm done beating him. I know y'all see that critical damage too. And it's going to be even worse once I get the the hunter the, the hunter set. I was just making the heavy armor set first. I'm already working on it. I already have the pants and a few couple of stuff. And then I'll just make a, a whole nother build for y'all. Don't worry, bro. We working. We working. So if you haven't subbed yet, bro, sub up. We almost at uh, we're almost at um, what's that? We almost at twenty thousand, bro. Literally less than two hundred subs away. So if literally two hundred of y'all was to sub on this video right now, it would be great. I would very much appreciate it, you know. Cause I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. We need this. We need this one. Mm, stupid. Bop bop. Hmm. Bro, we def bro, full health, bro, full health. Barely losing any HP. I'm the boss, bro. Like literally, 
and this spider does is, is the spider is helping with leech you know because it scales off of your damage if you're not doing a lot of damage like i am yeah you you won't be able to beat this boss so just giving y'all a heads up just giving y'all a heads up bro because if um the reason why i'm using the dagger dagger the dagger does way more damage because you do more crit with more crit to the boss so i'd be doing like less damage like 200 with without the critical 240 but since i hit critical a lot with this dagger it helps a lot see boss defeated defeated the level 50 something boss on my own on my own have you know on my own let's take my let's take my thumbnail picture bro strongest build in the game bro feel me strongest build in the game like literally you become the boss bro so not at not not at all this is done you just pack these guys up real quick okay i'm getting <sighs> all right y'all done go to sleep bro mm. go to sleep bro stop bothering me i've done enough i've had enough fun I can't damage me, bro. What's up with them? They don't understand, bro. Hold on. Let me get out of here so I can show y'all exactly what this build is talking about. Oh, my God, bro. Like, bro, this is the strongest build, bro. Like, literally, bro. I'm a demon, bro. Like, bro, I cannot be stopped. Please, bro. You, bro, you got to tell everybody, bro. Like, nah, this nigga built different respectfully. You feel me? He built different. He built different. He built different. I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> Shit, brother. My fault. I'm falling on. Alright, look. First thing is first. Craft your armor, chat. Craft your armor. Do not look for legendaries. You'll be wasting your time. Now I'm going to tell you exactly why you want to craft your armor. When you craft your armor, you get craft bonuses. Craft bonuses can range from luck to extra health to health regen to mana regen. It could be whatever. Even weapons too. These My dagger was crafted. This was found. You see how it has no bonuses? It just tells you how you can obtain. And you can either obtain it from a boss drop, drop, or, you know, you can craft it. You can craft the, the legendary, which is the red, and you can craft the unique. I will be crafting a unique and letting y'all know exactly how my experience with the unique is. But, you know, that's going to be a video for another day. But as you can, but as you can see here, bro, when this is the craft bonus right here you see it it says hp regeneration uncommon two mana regeneration one so this is what happens when you craft it and then when you have a full armor set you get a this thing called the um bone uh, you get a arm wait what is this set buff you get a set buff right <clears throat> which basically increases your damage uh i said that not yeah increases your damage increases your health and all around stats for your armor this is why i'm sitting at you know nine um nine thousand and some change health and it's mostly because of my, you know, armor bo uh, bonus from crafting. So if we go down, we get max mana. We get, so we get an extra 40. We get luck with this one. And mind you, we got, two, bro, we kept getting like two craft bonuses too on these. Because you can end up landing on one. I, I kept getting two. So I got mad lucky. I was happy with this. I was happy with these two. Um, I got one on this one, mana regen. I got, um, this one was an epic. Max HP, 800. Now that was crazy. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Got mad lucky with it. And then this one was HP. Now I got an extra 100 and it was a common with that one. And then for weapon bonuses, we got critical um, hit chance to 20, which is a rare. And we got a crit hit power 10 uncommon. And then this one doesn't have a bonus. And yes, your we your legendary weapons, if you craft it, can get a bonus too. It has a drop multiplier, meaning that you can get more drops. It was also an epic. I don't know how I got so lucky crafting these, bro. I did, and I'm happy that I did. Um, but yeah, and then for stats, whoo. You want y'all through the stats and explain to y'all why I'm running the great uh why I'm running this this heavy armor. I'm gonna have the heavy armor and I'm also gonna have the light. Um where is it? right here so we have 70 into strength and we have 20 into dex now you do not need a lot into dex bro you you have to understand bro with the crit build is cool you get majority of your crit from your armor you still need a decent amount of strength because you have to do a base amount of damage bro because your crit is going to be based off of the damage that you already do so now if you have everything into critical you won't be doing that much damage so 
you want that to be high. And yes, I understand it says crit power percentage, but bro, trust me, trust me, bro. Trust me when I say put it into strength, bro. And then just get the tools with the with the critical percentage. Like you know, with the craft right there, plus when I wear the full outfit, you also get crit boost. Right now, the only reason why it's a little low for me, for me to hit a, a, a critical chance, which is 15%, which is not bad, is because I have this armor on. But when I switch it over, it's gonna be a whole different. It's gonna be a whole different ball game for that. Um, for when I'm using my dagger, for sure. Um, but yeah, right now it caters to the great sword more because you know crowd control and just gathering, you know, accessories and stuff like that. But yeah, that's about it. I feel like I talked a lot. And then the spider, the spider, as you can see here, bro, it does life steal. So with the spider, with you having the spider, you know, you can do a whole bunch of life stealing, bro. If the and it goes based off of your damage. So if you do a lot of damage, you're getting a lot of life back, and you should just max it out. It's great. It's perfect. It's just beautiful. I love it. I mean, shit. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, bro. But besides that, is I, I love. I love the mount. I love the pet, and you get it from this guy. Or you get it from no, no, you don't get it from her. Do you get it from her? She, yeah, nah, you get it from her. You get it from her. Yeah, you talk to her. I could have just talked to her. It's crazy, and you get it from her. She, it, it's a two percent chance to drop from her. You, you know, she gonna run you out through. You gonna have to go to the catacombs, kill like forty some skeletons, and then come back. Then you get a chance. She's gonna ask you for some materials, and then you know you can get the spider from there. Yo, if this video was helpful, and let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about this build, bro. I call it the undead build. You feel me? Because this, this, this is the Death Knight armor, so. Brush your heads, take care, catch you on the next video. I think I got the best build. And if anybody says differently, bro, comment down below and we can PvP in the catacombs, alright? Eek is out.